Hello, my beautiful Capricorn Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your May 1st through 31st, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And yes, you heard me correctly. We're combining the two monthly readings into one monthly reading. That makes it easier for everyone, and that'll allow me to get it out earlier. So, with that, I thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes as you allow other people to be able to enjoy the reading as much as you do because that great and powerful Google loves them like buttons, so please hit that button. Thank you so much for doing that in advance, and we'll move right into the energy of the reading. Ooh, we have the alignment energy of the Temperance card, Sagittarius Major Arcana, and Archangel Uriel, bringing things in through alchemy, using life force energy to create the synchronicity that you need to align you with the exact right steps forward. We have the Justice card, Libra Major Arcana, divine alignment and focus from within. Let go of the need to try to control it from the external and all that you want to create pinpoint to the outcome you choose and keep your focus aligned with that and so shall it be. This is right decisions being made by you and for you and totally in balance. Let's see what else we have my cappies. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, Divine Spirit, going in the right direction, the Six of Swords is saying you are in a place where you've got all your skills and abilities, following higher guidance, and moving forward in the beautiful energy of success. So get ready to launch, Cappies. Here we go. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we've got the two volunteers that began us. Hello, large and in charge. There's your Capricorn Major Arcana, fully engaged in the energy of being very much in your power. So this is the one thing, Cappies, you never have to worry about what that devil card means for you because it is your energy. <laughs> Lightning strike, something coming in from out of the blue. It could be a phone call from somebody you know or someone that's been uh, engaged in assisting you in something. They're now helping you as this energy comes through. It can be a divine download as well. It doesn't have to be an outside source. Usually, though, this means it's something out of the blue. And action is required. You'll be given the instruction to take action as soon as it's, it's needed to be done because this is another night. So very fast-moving energy of here comes the information, lightning strike happened, and boom, it's time for action. And you're going, okay, let me open my heart and be ready to take this little next step. Even though it's kind of crazy out there in this world, I'm going to see that this is the, the clouds are lifting and I'm ready to start something. I'm ready to get out of this old funky habit of the hunker down. You're getting a specific instruction here with this page of wands. This is telling you how to proceed. The Emperor energy, very much in a place of the Aries Major Arcana, but it means fully formed and action ready. This Emperor energy is the beautiful energy of the Divine Source in the masculine. So it's something absolutely ready for you to take hold and move forward. We have the Ace of Pentacles, solid energy of being very grounded in the new stability of this platform. This is new abundance. Whenever the Ace shows up, it is a gift from Divine. Lots of negotiation and communication. The Eight of Wands, very fast moving energy, allowing you to really have the benefit of all the beautiful things that you have been weaving into being. Now they're all coming home to roost and you have all the beautiful choices. And boss man energy, the king of wands, it's also fire sign energy. This is boss energy or owning your own business kind of energy. When you have this wonderful king of wands, it means you are in control. You are the one in the driver's seat. And this very often, my darling Capricorns, I know this suits you as well because this is the over overachiever 
uh, energy of sometimes being a workaholic. And you've got three days, three weeks, three months, third time's a charm. When these three swords release from that heart, that's when you can move forward with your whole heart. So whether you're changing jobs or you're starting something new on your own. And there's going to be some hurdles, but they're not massive. This isn't a speed bump. It's not even a real hurdle. So just be able to face it down and deal with it immediately. That way you can get it out of the way and keep moving. There's your divine alignment again. Saggy is showing up. The temperance major arcana of uh, Sagittarius and the Archangel Uriel. She's working her magic to align you with exactly the right things so that you can move forward. And we love us the King of Pentacles. This is also your suit because the coins are your earth energy, my Cappy. So this is being very much in a place of financial solvency and being in a place of very secure financial stability. And we are learning new things and growing in our energy. So whether you're learning something that's going to bring you some kind of certification that brings you more money and qualifies you for more money, or it's something you want to do on your own just so that you have your skills all polished, either way, you're mastering it. The release of the burden, the feeling of being under attack, the feeling of being bombarded, all the negativity and toxic energy, this is letting it go with the Ten of Swords as you move into the energy of release and allow yourself to move forward in the Six of Swords. Perfect energy as you move in the right direction, leaving behind what no longer serves you, obviously with that Ten of Swords, and being guided by divine. You don't have to know the way. You just have to be willing to listen and follow the signs and symbols. Well, that's a mighty fine gift. We have the Ace of Cups. This is the seal of approval from the universe directly to you, my Capricorns. This is a new moon cycle, the all-seeing eye of the Akashic Record, and the Holy Grail energy holding the elixir of life within it. This is the energy of creation and your ability to create whatever you can believe is possible. You're being given every single possibility to do it. Ooh, divine alignment, two of cups. So this is seeing eye to eye, being in a mind meld energy, whether it's a relationship, a partnership in business, or your higher self. It's a beautiful energy coming in with that beautiful ace of cups. We have the Hermit Virgo. This is where you're using your higher light to guide yourself forward and to use it to show you the pitfalls that lie ahead. That means stay connected to source and allow yourself to be guided because you're going to have to run all the things. Whenever you get an opportunity, sit in the energy of it and let it kind of speak you know, to you and let your higher self show you the way. Yeah, because you want to be, you've got a special target you're after, and that's why you're using so much discernment to make sure you're still on track. You are, and that's your victory on its way as you laser focus on the end result only. And there's your victory. This is the Six of Wands, which shows the beautiful celebration after all that you have gone through to get to this point this is being in a place of being head and shoulders above the rest and literally getting the accolades of all those around you a ticker tape parade in your honor yay team that's that's the way to be oh wait till you see this one Boom! <laughs> Wheel of Fortune! This is a big victory. This is a moment where all blocks, all stuck energy, all things that have been making you feel trapped or held back are breaking free. This is the release of all karmic debt and karmic holds. This is removing all red lights, turning them green, all doors opening, even doors you weren't aware existed come out of the woodwork and literally help you catapult yourself past everything that's been blocking you and beyond where you thought you would go. So this literally has done you the favor of putting tension on what you're trying to do, like drawing you back like a bow and arrow and sending you further forward than you would have by yourself. So thank you, universe. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended.
We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. Okie dokie. First volunteer. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but it kind of jumped like right into my fingers and I had to, had to release it. So that is beautiful. It meant to come out and this is for you, my cappies, right on top of your big energy of success and your fully empowered self. Yes and yes. And so it is. We snap it into being. Just don't try to control it. This is not something that you have a handle on. The only way that you can move energy for this is from within. You have to get to this point where you're really focused and then only focus on the result you want, not on what might else happen. Boom, it happens. There you are. You're going to be able to manifest this if you can focus on it. And that's the action you're taking which also ignites this energy and gets it to bloom and blossom with the beautiful sun in the background. So that is success with clarity. The Ace of Swords, beautiful energy cutting through the clouds, releasing you from being lost in the haze or in the fog. And now you have the energy of success with that beautiful victory wreath around the top of the sword, tells you it is a successful thing. And you can now, she's waiting to see her way forward and now she can. So there you are, ready to begin this next cycle. And the universe is showing you how to do it and what to, what to do to move forward. Again, page of rods on the page of rods. So that's, this is, this is a, like the fourth or fifth reading that this set of May readings that has had its own card on top of itself, like in many other ones in different places. But there it is, same card, page of rods on the page of rods. So you're definitely not going to be able to miss the, the notification because that is the, the town crier there. That's the great and powerful informer of how to move forward. So the page of rods is not going to be dismissed. He's going to be loud and proud. So there's the magician with the emperor. So it's saying focus on, on your big win and don't settle for less. Six of rods on top of the ace of pentacles. That is coming through the battle victorious just like it is here in that beautiful underlier. And anytime you see the sun in the background, like here and here and here, that's the dawning of the sun. So allow yourself to know that that's a really good omen. King of Cups. So these are people, when the King of Cups is present in this area, this is someone who wants your highest good. It is a genuine offer. All of this negotiation is not for nothing. All you have to do is be able to step past some past uh, incidents or regrets, maybe something that is happening in the current place you're at uh, that you feel like they did you dirty. Don't focus on that. You've got way better outcome coming up here as long as you turn around and face it instead of looking back at the at the old stuff. Master your skills while you're in the place of waiting. Get yourself aligned. Get sharpen your tools. Basically, is what what we're doing. Don't let the fear come in when this little hiccup comes in. This is, this is only because you're stepping into something new and into a bigger paradigm. When we step out of our comfort zone, it's always scary. We want to run back and get in that safe zone again. Don't let yourself do that because you've got the universe working in your behalf. And you're going to celebrate it as you do. So there's that three of cups, the celebration with the seraphim. The little page of pentacles coming in with that king of pentacles. So definite financial offer coming in. Don't get too freaked out when it's when you're in a place of waiting because you're going to have the clearing energy of this Ten of Swords. The Nine of Rods means you're on the very verge of the breakthrough for the Ten of Rods. Ten of Rods means burden is lifted, struggle is over, and you're about to pass through that anyway. There's your Strength card coming over the top of that Ten of Swords, releasing your burden or your feeling of anxiety or toxic energy, and now you get to move on out of there even though it's not fast enough. <laughs> this is where we feel like we're kind of put upon because it's not happening as fast as we want it to. It's okay. It's, a, it's still happening. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. So just be, be in that energy of, if you didn't get a phone call telling you no, we're still on. Okay? Here is the Seven of Cups. 
which is the energy of a blessing in abundance. I call it the dump truck load of blessings. And you know it's perfectly aligned with this Ace of Cups because it's literally like somebody heaps all these blessings all at one time. That's the only caveat to this card is that it all happens simultaneously and it seems like a hot chaos mess. Just do one thing at a time, my darlings. You're being provided with the, the ability to take action and the universe is going to help you with that. So don't worry. And the Six of Cups, soul family energy. This is the energy of alignment with people who support you and are just in your corner 24-7 as you follow the path of the hermit and allow yourself to use your energy to see the way forward despite the energy that's kind of confusing or any kind of people competing with you. Just stand your ground and don't, don't back down. You've already got yourself in the right place. And the last but not least, Page of Cups. This is the energy of the wave of abundance. And this is the page holding out the cup with a fish in it saying you will be fed. You will be provided for. The universe is infinite and it has more than enough. So do not worry, my darlings. Everything is coming in line. So I send you lots of love, lots of light, peace, healing, joy, abundance, and prosperity to you all. And I'll see you again in June. Namaste, my friends.